Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be trying out a crazy weird product. I'm also in a crazy weird mood. I just got back from New York. If you follow me on Snap, then you saw the play-by-play -play of like everything that dominoed and went crazy. And it was just like, oh, my brain is still melting from like the anxiety and everything that happened. Also really cool things happened because I won an award from Nylon Magazine as a beauty innovator and that was awesome. So everything said and done, like my whole trip out there, which was super fast, was worth it and I'm really grateful. But my goodness, you guys don't even know. It was just like the trip from hell, like one thing after the other, oh my gosh. So um, she's a little, you know, a little like this, but I have hope that like, you know, like a lot of things go bad all at once and then you're kind of like done with it. I think we're done with it. I'm back in my happy space. I'm playing with makeup. I'm surrounded by pretty things. And I'm actually super, super curious to try this out. I got this sent to me and I showed all of you this product in my PR unboxing and I really, really wanted to try it on the spot. And it's so funny, like sometimes when I do these reviews, I have to be like, get your hands out of it. Like just wait until you have a chance to film it because I am that person that just kind of wants to rip into everything and swatch and test immediately. But for something like this, I had to capture it on camera for you guys because this is really, really different. It feels weird, it looks weird. I have never seen a sponge that is quite like this. I kind of, kind of honestly think that I could cut part of my pillow out and that would be the equivalent of this because it feels like a memory foam pillow. That's what this sponge feels like, spot on, no exaggeration. So this is the Stands Out Beauty Company makeup blending sponge and it literally, like you can crumple it up like so teeny tiny. Look at how weird this is. And it just like, ah, uh, it like grows back every time. Oh, so I was reading the back of this box and it actually says that after you use it three to five times, you do not have to wet the sponge, but to break it in, you should wet the sponge, which I think is really interesting because I always wash my beauty blenders like every single time or every other time at least. And for this, I guess, I don't know. You break it in, you use it a few times, you clean it, and then it, it's fine to use without water. I don't really know how that works. I'm kind of intrigued. Pro tips, use the large rounded side for pressing and rolling foundation into large areas like the cheeks, chin, and forehead. Use the triangle side for concealer or powder under the eyes. Oh, okay, we're gonna use this for powder too, cool. Then you can use the flat side for contouring. Holy freaking smokes. Okay, so you can do a lot with this. We're gonna put this through the ringer and test this out. You know, sponges are coming out with all these different shapes, textures. We had the silicone phase and now this, but I'm excited. So I'm gonna go dampen this and then we will get to applying foundation. I'm gonna go ahead with two trusted primers that I know work really, really well. So we're not playing with anything new and we're really just gauging how the sponge is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slap on some Guerlain Gold Gold and lift and prime and lift and prime. And then I'm going to cancel out my pores with a little Tarte primer. Boom, 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 feeling good, done. Okay, we're gonna go in now with a little Fiona Styles matte foundation. I have been back into this and I am sad because I'm about halfway through the bottle and I've become obsessed with it again. I am in the shade four right now. I'm just gonna take the fat side first. I don't know why this feels so weird. It's like really big for a sponge for your face, right? We're just gonna go ahead and use this in a similar fashion that I would use my beauty blender. So let's just hope for the best. So I'm gonna use a stamping motion. I don't really know what the reasoning is as to why this will work better or I just, I don't understand like this works better because X, Y, Z, you know? That actually works out like holy smokes, She's done. Like, I'm gonna be done in like two seconds. I'm gonna have no time for story time. This is making application actually surprisingly fast. Okay, so you guys, let me guide you through my hellish trip to New York City. So the flight was so bad. I fly a lot. I'm not the greatest flyer, 
but this flight was a total disaster. We flew straight into an electrical storm over JFK. It was so bad and it was such a freak storm that we had to circle the storm for like two hours and the pilot would come on occasionally. He's like, don't worry guys, we have tons of gas, it's fine. Don't worry guys, open up your windows if you're on the left-hand side and you can see the storm. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what we're avoiding. And you'd see like lightning bolts and like it was super scary. Meanwhile, the whole plane is going, like this the whole time, my assistant, God bless her, she's not a good flyer either. So between the two of us, we were both having like full on meltdown. And she leaned over to me at one point. She's like, I think this is gonna be one of those flights where when we get on the ground, everybody's gonna clap. And I'm just like, oh my God, me too. The plane kept doing that thing where it would like drop and you would lose your stomach. And I did have internet, which thank God, because that was the only thing that was distracting me. Like I couldn't listen to music. I couldn't watch a movie. Like I couldn't read, I couldn't do anything. But for some reason, tweeting to you guys and talking to you guys while I was up in the air going through that made me feel so much better and comforted. And I just, oh, I'm so grateful that I had that because otherwise I think I would have had a heart attack. Like my heart was just beating so, so fast. I have massive anxiety on planes as is. And that was just like next level. Dude, this is working out for me actually. I'm shocked. So we finally, finally land and the landing was awful. It was just as bad as the flight. I'm not even joking. Water bottles, drinks, everything from like the back of the plane came like flying up toward the front of the plane, slammed into the front of the cabin. And it was just like a really bad, like we were kind of like moving around the runway like this. And it felt like we didn't have like the right braking. And then I see that because there were so many, you know, flights circling around the storm that there are other flights landing like right behind us and they feel super close. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, just like one thing after another. And then we had to sit on the tarmac for like two hours because it was so piled up from everybody, you know, flying in at the wrong time. That's fine and good and I can be patient, but your girl's sitting here right now with a bladder infection because they wouldn't let anybody pee. Airlines should have a better system when the flight lands if people need to use the restroom. Like maybe have people raise their hands and have an attendant come over and walk a person one by one. Cause I get it, like the planes are still moving and for safety reasons, they have to have people seated. But it was just getting to a point of absolute ridiculousness where I almost peed my pants on the plane. I was like texting James and he's like, just go, just get up and go. And I'm like, I can't. Everybody that stands up is getting yelled at like over an intercom and like, I don't wanna do that. And then this one like very brave pregnant woman was like, I just have to, this baby is stepping on my bladder. And she like ran to the back of the plane and I was like, man, I just gotta go so bad. So anyway, we get off the plane and we go into the nearest restroom, go into the first stall, cause of course there was a line, which was just like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Like I've made it this far, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So then I get into an open stall and there's urine all over the floor and I'm just like, screw this, like I can't. You know how you have to go more when you see the toilet? Like you get into the bathroom and your like body is like, we're so close, we just wanna go. Anyway, I am of course, a total germaphobe. So I am doing everything I can to like not touch anything. And I'm in my like little Lululemon yoga pants and they're kind of like around my knees and I am squatting over the toilet. I am trying not to step in urine. I'm about in tears because of my traumatic experience. And I then like smell smoke coming from the next stall because someone next to me is smoking a cigarette. And I start laughing because I think I just reached that point of like when something is so bad that you start laughing at it, that's one of my coping mechanisms. So I start laughing and because I'm laughing, I start wobbling and I see my little Adidas on my feet go like this and I'm like going, whoa, 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 whoa. And like I almost like totally ate it in that bathroom stall and I would have slid and all of that disgustingness on the floor and thank God that I didn't, but like we left and I was like, oh my gosh, I need a break from this. So get to our hotel. 
The hotel accidentally served me gluten, which to me gives me flu-like symptoms. I don't end up in like the hospital or anything, but it makes me very, very sick. So that really sucked. And then the next day at Starbucks, and we were almost back to the hotel, and I paid for my Starbucks, and I put my card back in my little wallet, and I put it in my purse, and my purse was close to my body, but it was open. Public service announcement for you guys, do not in busy cities ever leave your purse open. I regret doing that. Always take the moment to zip it up, because when I was grabbing my coffees, I remember some girl like really bumped into me unnecessarily, and I thought it was kind of weird, but I didn't really think much of it. And I think that's when my wallet got stolen. Like you see that happen in the movies and you don't think that like, that's how it goes down in real life, you know? But shoot, that's how it went down in real life. Like I got my full on wallet stolen and it sucked. And I found out when I had to pay a hairstylist that was helping me get ready for the event, I was like, oh, you know, to my sister, I'm like, can you run to the ATM and grab some cash? And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have my wallet. And then I'm getting ready and I'm just like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. Like, don't ruin your makeup. Like, you're going to an event. It's gonna be fabulous. Like, don't cry. And then we, you know, go to the event. We had the best time. Good things are that I got to see my sister and my nephew and he's like the cutest little baby ever in the world. The event was super gorgeous, super beautiful. Got to spend some time with my assistant Alex and I love her. There were good things about the trip. It's just kind of comedy to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, for real. On the way home, and I did not put this on Snapchat, and I did not put this on Instagram. I was feeling so sick, like desperately sick, where you're just like searching for anything, and you're just like, I, I just, I don't even know how I'm gonna get on this plane. Like I feel so sick, I feel like I have a migraine, I feel nauseous, and I think a big part of that is because I was exposed to a lot of gluten. Anyway, we're in the airport, and they have this like express spa, and they have this weird thing that you can sit in, you can like breathe in salt, and it's supposed to make you feel feel better and I was just at that point where I'm like anything so I sat in this weird like salt breath thing and it actually like kind of decongested some of my ear pain and then I got put in these like whack job like compression boots and the funny thing is is it's like in the middle of JFK like people are walking by and I told Alex I'm like you should tweet like I'm having a meetup right now at the express spa in terminal four because it just it looked so funny we were dying but it helped like it was the weirdest thing because it actually helped okay hold up i've been like blending and talking for so long it's so weird i'm like away on an adventure for a weekend and i feel like i've missed you guys and like i have story time for you i'm gonna go ahead and put on my concealer and see how that blends and then we will use this to set the powder as well but so far this is actually super, super dope. Why have I never thought to try anything like this? Or why has no one brought this out before? Because my foundation looks super, super flawless. Whoa, this is almost like better than a beauty blender. What? I just really love chatting with you guys right now. I don't even know if you're that into it, to be honest. I mean, I uploaded one of my most favorite videos of all time. Like, I feel like I shared so much of a different side of myself that you guys don't always see. And that was my get ready with me embarrassing stories. And I talked about kind of first time experiences with ex-boyfriends and riding a mechanical bull. And just like all these funny embarrassing stories in my past and how my mom was a talent manager and a commercial agent and how I would like kind of go through her clients and try to score dates. And just like me being young and stupid and just all of my funny stories that I've collected along the way. Like I shared those while doing a full face of makeup and I don't know what happened if the algorithm is just like, you know, that word, the algorithm, the algorithm. It just did not get the normal attention that my videos do. So that really sucked. I'm going to link it below. If you enjoy my kind of story time, more kickback, then go give that one a look. I was really actually very happy with how that turned out because I felt closer to the me that you guys don't always see here on camera because that girl is around all the time and it's really hard to let her kind of take the lead when I am thinking about prices and texture and if the product's long wear or this or that and give you guys like the scoop about something. It's hard to like jump into making jokes and whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you like that kind of thing, go check out that video. I loved it. I hope you guys love it. I am going to set the under eye area with powder using the sponge. This is good times right here, you guys. Like I, I'm here for this. 
Yeah, I need to order like 12 of these before this video goes up because this is a smaller company and I am sure that once people catch on of how great this product is, they're just gonna like sell out like crazy. So let's get more information on stands out sponges. All right, so these are 20 bucks. 11 is my favorite number. We are going to add 11 of them to my cart because this always happens where if it's an indie product, I end up missing out after I recommend something. So you guys, this is killer. I love it. I am shocked. It does not look like much. Like it actually looks like, oh, that's stupid. That's not gonna work. That's hokey pokey. I don't want it. This is not the Scylla sponge. This is something very different. And the texture is so much softer and pliable than a beauty blender. I still love you. Like you're still, you're gold to me. I love the beauty blender. I love the tip of it. I love everything, but this is cool. It like got it on fast and it blended everything so nicely. And I don't feel like it sucked up as much foundation as a beauty blender. So I'm gonna have to keep exploring with this one. I'm gonna finish up my makeup and we'll wrap up the video looking cute. All right, I'll be right back. And the rest of the makeup is on and I always feel so much better when I have a brow on, a little lip and everything is like polished and finished. And then I can really examine the makeup and see how it's sitting on the skin, how I'm liking it, all of that good stuff. And I have to say, you guys, I am shocked because I really felt like this would be one of those OMGs where it just kind of didn't work out. I mean, the idea of something that looks like memory foam is really weird. It's kind of clunky. It just, it feels weird, like from a texture feeling, you guys, like I just, I don't like the way that it feels. I think it feels creepy. If a sponge could feel creepy, it just kind of like, it literally feels like I cut a portion of my pillow off and like I'm using it as a makeshift sponge and it's like a beauty hack or something like that. This does not feel that legit. Like it does not feel as legit of a product as a beauty blender. Beauty blender feels like a company that makes these sponges and they're shaped this way and they're colorful and this and that. And this just kind of feels a little bit cheap and weird. But all of that being said, if you are thinking the same things in your head and you're seeing this and you're like, ew, weird, do not think that because this is freaking game changing and magical. And I have never ever used another sponge that I have immediately liked more. This just covers you so quickly. I mean, look at how much space it is covering right here. I don't know this company. I'm not sponsored by them. They just sent this my way. That's it, but I'm really into it and I'm totally down to support a smaller company. So check them out. I will leave their uh, information below because I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know where to grab this, but I'm gonna order some more myself and you'll probably see this again on my channel because it worked out really great. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button if you liked it. I like it and I hope you like it. Hit the like button. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a meltdown. All right, my brain is just fried right now. I apologize. I love you guys so much. Be sure you are subscribed if you have not subscribed yet. I am here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST trying a wide range of crazy products, cool products, expensive products, cheap products. I try it all. I am a true blue beauty junkie. So I hope you come back and hang out with me again. I love you so much. Thanks for spending time with me and I will see you in my next video. Yeah.